Hey and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over five chat commands that I think you should have in your Twitch chat. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Now this video is for a bit of fun and is my opinion of five commands I think you should have and most people will enjoy. But if you don't see a command that you really like on the list, leave it down in the comments below. I might make an update to this video in the future if I see a lot of good ones that I might have missed. And while you're there, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. It definitely helps the channel out quite a bit. That being said, the first command on my list is the watch time command. This is my all time favorite command. This is my favorite way to flex in someone's chat. Um, not everyone has money to subscribe to every channel, depending on how many people you support. It gets quite expensive if you have 10 or 11 channels. So my favorite command to have is one that's free. It's a watch time command. So how much time have that person spent watching? And I absolutely love to flex it in chat. It's a great command and definitely the number one recommended command that I recommend to viewers. I do have a full video covering how to add this here. I use stream elements for it, but you can do it in Streamlabs. Unfortunately, Nightbot has to use a custom API to get the watch time. So keep that in mind, not every bot can do the watch time, but it's definitely a command that I think your chat should have. I enjoy going into someone's chat as one of the OGs and flexing that I have days of watch time. It's a great feeling to be able to show the streamer how much you support them. This is, like I said, it's my number one favorite command that I think every Twitch chat should have. And if you do happen to want this here command, I'll definitely leave a link to a video in the description below that'll cover how to set it up for your very first time. So if you're looking to add the watch time command, I'll definitely have a link to that in the description below. For the second command, it was a toss up between the follow age command and the watch time command. Most bots can do it. And like I said before, it's a great way to flex the support that you've given to a streamer and how long you've been supporting them. I don't find it quite as good as why I put the, the watch time as number one, because someone can subscribe to you day one when you start and then just never be around until you have seven or eight viewers and then show back up like that I don't find it quite as good of a flex as the watch time where watch time is more hours that you've spent in chat which I think is like I said the best that's the best flex you can have the followage is another way to flex how much and how long that you ha have actually supported a streamer and I think a lot of people enjoy it and it's another chat command I think that all twitch chat should just have this is a command that's one of the stock ones that every single bot has it so this one here should just be on with every channel and that's why I think it's number two. A lot of people using it and it's pretty much in every bot it's there and it's easy to add. For the third command I would have to say your socials or a social command whether it's a twitch command or a discord command. It's pretty much just a link a command for a link for people to be able to click so that they can follow you a lot easier. Even though it's down here on the sidebar, on a phone, this here part doesn't load up. And this here just makes it a lot easier when you type it in socials to add it, or like you can do it Discord, Twitch, Twitter, and have your different socials here. That makes it a lot easier. If someone wants to follow you, they'll be able to. And the easier you make it for someone to follow you, the more likely that you are to actually have someone follow you. So this isn't one to help your chat interaction. This one is actually to help you. As much as it might seem like such a not tedious task as to scroll down and click on one of the links that are already here, having the link in chat is very important because not everyone is using a computer and on a phone you don't have the about unless you go over to it. So if someone can just click in chat and then click the link and click a follow without having to go through a bunch of stuff, that just makes it that many less steps that they have to do and that much more likely that you are to get a follow. As a number three, I think that your socials are a perfect fit and a very important command to actually have in your chat that a lot of people just don't really think of it being that important. The fourth command is the SO command or the shout out command. This is a great command for when someone raids you or somebody shows up with some viewers, you get a host. This is a great way to thank someone or I don't know another word to say for it, like respect or just like if one of your friends raids you, it's super cool to give them a shout out. Mine plays a clip if I'm live, it plays a little clip, the last clip that they had. So it's, it'll show up with something funny in their name and say, go follow them on Twitch. I absolutely love these here ways to interact. If a community is sharing their community with you, giving them a shout out in chat so that your community has an easy link to click to go give them a follow or something. I think that is very wholesome. And it's why this here command is on the list. This is one of the commands that I enjoy when I show up with a raid, even if it's only one person and someone gives me a shout out in chat, that person has three, four, seven, ten, thirty 30 viewers 
followers. I find that's just, it's a good feeling to get the shout out. So I think it's a pretty important command to have. It's not needed by far. None of these here commands are needed. These are just ones that I think a lot of the community enjoy and are good for you as a streamer. Most bots is pretty easy to set up a shout out command. And I also have a tutorial and a video as well for setting up the shout out command. So I'll definitely have that in the description below. I have a website tutorial for it as well if that's something that you would like to check out. If you're looking to add any of these here commands, I have a video for the shout out one. I don't have one for the follow each because it's a stock command on the two main bots that I use. So for the Streamlabs bot and the Stream Elements bot, uh, watch time and follow each are stock commands, but you will have to do a little bit more for the watch time to work. So if you are looking for any of these videos, I am going to leave links to all of this here in the description below. So if you're looking for any of that, I'll just have it there for easy access. But I find this is a super good way to show someone you appreciate them for the raid in your chat. And I super enjoy this here command. The next command, the fifth command, the last one on the list, is the lurk command. Now, this one here made it on the list. It was There's a big controversy over this one here. I wasn't quite sure to add it. But then I remembered that I mostly lurk. And as a viewer myself, that's a command that I super like typing in just so when I'm not going to be in chat for a little bit. If I show up in chat and say, hey, what's going on? And then type lurk in. I, the, I know the streamer is not continuing to talk to me. So if I'm doing something and listening to the stream in the background, I don't have to switch over what I'm doing and answer questions. Or even if it's not that, just to show that I'm in chat, like a hands up, like, like I'm here. I think that's very wholesome and I enjoy it. Lurkers are very important on Twitch. They're pretty much the backbone and showing you appreciate them for lurking is I think wholesome and it's very important. Like lurkers are very important. They're the backbone of Twitch. I definitely believe that that is something I've always believed. I'm a, I'm a lurker. I spend a lot of time in a lot of chats. That lurker's an extra viewer that you might not have had. Somebody that's just sitting there. If you raid somebody else, they're going to that chat. They're going through with the raid. They're there. I definitely think a command that says, thanks for the lurk. I appreciate you is just something that's so too easy to set up. And it's appreciate it more than you actually more than you think. Like if you're a viewer yourself and you're watching lots of streams, let me know if you use these here commands. If any of these here commands on the list, if you enjoy using them or if you show up to a chat and kind of expect these ones here, let me know down in the comments below because I'd actually like to uh, know what your thoughts are on it and what commands you actually expect to be in a Twitch chat when you show up. Because these are some of the commands that I think that every Twitch chat should have. When you show up, you should be able to, from the day you start, have all these here commands at your fingertip because I think they're all great commands. I like to lurk. I like to give shoutouts. I like to get shoutouts. I enjoy being able to find someone's socials easy, and that helps the streamer as well get follows and makes it easier for the chat to just be able to interact and be able to click the things. Maybe they prefer Twitter and want to follow you on Twitter and follow your stories, or maybe they're more into TikTok. Just being able to type it in the chat, making it super easy. And like I said, if you have any, if you think I missed any at all that you think should be on this here list of the top five commands that you expect and want to be in every single Twitch chat, let me know down in the description below what they are but this is it for this this one here this was just a fun video to go over a couple commands that i thought were my top five i want to remake this here over again so definitely leave all the opinions you can down in the description below about commands that you would want in every single twitch chat or if you think my top five is wrong if you think there's any other command that you think should be up here let me know in the comments and if you think i forgot or left something out definitely leave it in the comments below if you like or found the video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching